Hey, so today I am here to give you a review of the La Vie Warming Lactation Massage Pads. And I have been so excited for this review. It's been a long time coming. A lot of you have been super patient. They sent these to me while I was pregnant, but you guys know I don't waste your time with anything that I don't personally 100% use and love. So here we are. I'm ready to give you the details. I've been using them pretty much since I've been home from the hospital with Lexi and it's taken me a while but it's because these things are in constant use. Little spoiler alert for the review but I'm going to give you the details first and then I will get into my experience with them. So as far as what you get with these pads they come in a box just like this. I've actually kept the box because it's what sits on my nightstand and it's what I charge these in so that way they are not slipping all over the place but you do get a little carrying case and it of course comes with the charging cable as well but I didn't want to bring that out here I like my little setup that I have in my room but like I said I just sit this on my end table and then I plug them in and I sit them inside the box and loosely close the box because obviously the cords are hanging out but that is how they will come you do get two so there is a, a set with them and you can see right here this is where you plug in your charging cables right here is your power button Right here is your heat setting. So if you move it in the middle, that's no heat. And then there's one for less heat and one for more heat. And that's basically how you work these things. There's not a ton to them. They're really easy to use. So if you wanna turn one on, you just go ahead and hold it in. And that green light means that it is on. And then if you hit it once, you'll hear that it changed the vibration. And then if you hit it one more time, it's still on because it's on heat only mode so there's that and then to turn it off all you do is you hold that button again and the green light goes off and now they're off and then when you're charging them whenever you plug them in they'll kind of fade in and out with that green light meaning that they're charging and once it's a solid green light that means that they're all charged so these pads are vibrating and they can also have heat as well like i said you can turn either of those functions off and have one or the other or you could have both or you can change the vibration setting that you want. So you are able to kind of customize them for whatever you may be looking for with these. They are available to purchase on their website that I'll have linked down below for you. They retail for $80 and they did give me a coupon code for you guys. I'll display here on the screen so you can just screenshot it for later, but it'll give you 10% off your order. And these pads are also FSA and HSA eligible. So that's really awesome. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee and they also have a one year warranty on them which I think is pretty awesome so that kind of just leads me into my experience with the pads now when they sent these to me I was like that's genius I loved their regular massager that I've reviewed here on my channel before a couple years ago they've upgraded it since then so if you purchase one of those kind of massagers now it looks a little bit different than mine but it's still the same awesome massager that I love but when they sent these to me, I was like, great, I love that one. I'm gonna love these ones. But I was kind of concerned about the size. I am very large chested. So when I saw this, I was like, you know, it's kind of the size of my palm. You know, I was like, I don't really think I'm gonna get a lot of surface area covered on here. I don't, I kind of wondered how much it could really get done being a smaller device, being larger chested. I just didn't know how well it was gonna work. I was like, am I gonna have to use both on one? Like. I was kind of skeptical on like how it would all work out if it would, you know, for someone who's smaller chested, it may not be too much of an issue, but that's kind of where my concerns were starting to creep up at. So I charged them up and let me tell you, I've been in love with them ever since the first use. You guys may not know this, but with breastfeeding Lexi, and I did have this while I was breastfeeding Remy as well, I actually have vasospasms, and the only thing that helps those vasospasms is heat. And it's really hard for me to kind of accomplish that because anything that I was heating up would eventually lose heat throughout the pumping session. So even if it worked in the beginning, it was starting to taper off in between. I don't really like to stop once I start pumping either if I can help it. So it was just kind of something that I figured I'd have to deal with. So the idea that these could stay on and stay warm the entire time really appealed to me because those vasm spasms are really painful and unenjoyable. So the fact that I could have that heat and it could help me through those, especially with it now being colder outside as well. My house is not always like 
warm and toasty. Sometimes it's cooler out here in my living room, especially first thing in the morning. You know, I knew it was going to be helpful because cold weather does make it worse. If you didn't know that about vasospasms, it can kind of agitate that as well. So I was really liking that idea. So right from the get go, the heat was amazing, but that really wasn't, like I said, my worries about it. I was worried about how the vibration would do and if it would be enough for me. The vibration on this is insane insane guys. It does such a good job in just one of them because that's how I decided to use it. If I have an issue, it's typically on the underside of my breast. So I figured why not just kind of tuck it underneath there. I'll turn it on the highest heat, just see what it can do with just one of them. And then I actually turned the other one on while I was pumping one side. I single pump for those of you who might not know. So I was pumping my left side, had one of them on while I was pumping. And I actually turned the other one on and put it underneath my right breast just to kind of get it going, get it warmed up no pun intended, <laughs> but while I was single pumping. And I was really impressed with how it worked. Like, the vibration on this is super strong. I do not need two of these and I really enjoy these. I reach for these almost every single time that I pump. They're super small. They're discreet. You know, nobody can even notice them. You might be able to hear them, but that's not a huge deal for me. And I was talking to the people at Lovey and they said that in the future models of these massage pads, the vibration is going to go even deeper with its ability to penetrate and also they're going to be quieter. So even if the noise level is a concern of yours, I would just stay tuned for future models and they'll be quieter. But honestly, I don't think once they are actually underneath your said boob, then you can even really hear much. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so I have one on right now. I have it in the spot that I like to wear and I'll just kind of be quiet so you guys can see if you can hear it. And just to let you know that I have an external mic that's also trying to pick things up as well. So there's that as well. It might be a tiny bit amplified because my mic is trying to find it, but that's basically what it sounds like. I don't think honestly that's too loud. When I'm talking to you guys right here, it's not like I can, I keep focusing on it. It's too loud or anything. Honestly, I feel like if you were having a conversation with somebody, they probably wouldn't even hear it if you guys are talking at this kind of normal level of volume. So there's that. Unless it's completely quiet in your house, I don't think you're really gonna notice the sound on these things. I have experimented with them and I've tried using the lower heat, not using heat, you know, all the different variations that you can with these. I personally just always go back to having it on the constant vibration and then on the highest heat setting. I just really enjoy that. I don't find that to be too much. Like I said, you can play around with it though. You can turn the heat off if that's not what you're interested in, or you can turn the vibration off if all you need is heat. You're someone like me who has some vasospasms, but I've really enjoyed using both. I've found it very useful to have both. I empty about five minutes quicker on both sides per session if I'm using these. And if there's a time where I've maybe gone longer in between pumps, I maybe laid a little too hard on my stomach while I was sleeping. Like anytime I think there might be a chance I'm going to have a clog, I just don't even try to search for it. I just stick these in my bra and I empty with ease every single time. I'm pretty prone to clogs, but with these, it has not been a problem. I haven't even had to hand massage one out or hand express it out with these to help me. These would have changed my entire breastfeeding journey with Remy had I had these. I mean, they weren't out yet. They weren't available or anything, but I'm just telling you, I had so many clogs with Remy. It was a constant everyday issue that just tired me out endlessly. If I had had these, I, I, I would honestly probably would have bought another pair. So I would constantly have one of them because that's how game changing they are. If you're prone to clogs, I can't recommend these enough. Even now where I don't have as many clogs, I don't have as much of an oversupply. I am just kind of like in a nice happy routine where I don't fortunately run into many complications. 
I still find them incredibly useful. They make pumping really comfortable for me. I enjoy using them. I use them on a daily basis and I like that they're small, they're discreet, they charge up nice, they have a good lasting charge, just like everything about them. They're a very well thought out little breastfeeding device, a little helper for you. The underside is super soft. I mean, I kind of didn't even mention that because when it comes to La Vie, their silicone is always super soft. I've really enjoyed that with them, but just all around, I love this product. I really recommend it. I've had quite a few people message me on Instagram asking if I thought that the $80 price tag was worth it, and I 100% do. I have other tools that I also love to use when it comes to breastfeeding, but these I love because it's what I need most often, and that comes down to the heat for my vasospasms. Having that has been game changing. It's so much more comfortable whether I'm out and about and in the car and I need that because it's obviously very cold outside at this point or if I'm at home, you know, like no matter what, I am always wanting that warmth to help my vasospasms and I finally have it along with some vibration. It just uh, guys, I can't say enough good things. I really do love these. That is everything for my review of these La Vie warming massage pads. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below. I'll also make sure to put the coupon code down there so you can just copy and paste it if you need to. But yeah, if you guys end up getting a pair, let me know down in the comments how you end up liking them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.